October 22nd is the college fair at Hillcrest High School. It's from 5 to 8. Be sure to be there. And on October 27th, Compass Academy is hosting a horror film festival. That's at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. The admission fee is $1 for students and $2 for people who are not students. On October 30th, the government class is hosting the state superintendent debate here at 7 in the auditorium. Make sure you come and show your support. October 31st, Halloween! Don't steal candy from little kids. Ms. Toller and Mrs. Kelsch's class have been working with Mr. Timshack on a new project called A Pen for Timmy, which is a goat, not Mr. Timshack. Students need to find the rectangular perimeter that would provide the most area for this goat. Let's meet Timmy. Hi, I'm Brandon Christiansen, and I'm here with Mr. Timchek, a facilitator of Cuppa's Academy. He has enlisted the help of Ms. Toller's math class to help him build a new pen for his goats. Timchek, how's that going? Well, I'm converting this ground behind us into pasture, and I want to build a pen for the goats, and I want to maximize the amount of area. And my math skills aren't what they used to be, so I'm looking for help from Mrs. Toller's uh, math class as to how to get the most area out of the least amount of fence. I also would like to get some estimates on the costs of different types of fencing, vinyl versus electric versus uh, wood and so on. So I'm hoping, out, hoping that they can help me out. How much have the math students helped you in this problem? So far, I, I haven't really heard anything yet. I guess they're going to be uh, finishing up the problem soon, but I'm looking forward to hearing what they came up with. Well, thank you, Mr. Timchek. Still he here on the scene with Matt Worley on this project. Matt, what is your role in this project? Um, well, our role is to find the largest area for the goat pen that Mr. Timchek will be building, and we're going to come up with the length to width ratio, and we're going to give it to Mr. Timchek so he can build his pen. It's pretty nice. How far is that coming along? Um, we're close to the end of the project. Uh, we're wrapping up. Uh, we pretty much have all our information. Like, we figured out that if you make a square just in like the middle of a like this area you'll and it's if it's 25 feet by 25 feet it will have a large area but the largest area would be if you were to build the pen on a, an existing wall or building that will and doing that it will uh, increase the area by two so we figured that building it on a fence or an existing wall would make the area bigger sounds pretty intelligent Alrighty, back to you in the studio. Senior project proposal letters were due last week. Shame on you if you didn't do it. On October 21st, the parent permission and contact information were due in Echo. October 28th, your mentor information is due in Echo. Don't be late on that one. Now let's go to some national headlines. Two San Francisco-based radio stations have banned Lord's hit song, Royals, because of the song's casual connections to the American League Baseball champions the Kansas City Royals. The San Francisco Giants will take on the Royals in the World Series. In Kansas City, police are vowing to find those responsible for the shooting of a six-year-old girl who was stopped at a convenience store with her dad to buy some bubble gum. In California, police said that a woman attempting to break into a home through the chimney was arrested after she got stuck inside. Santa apparently was coming early. I'm gonna take a quick commercial break here. We'll be right back with more news. Flash wireless. Travel with no contract. Welcome back to Compass News. Just in case Ebola makes it all the way to Idaho, the city of Idaho Falls is examining a citywide response for the deadly virus for precaution. <coughs> a young driver fled the scene of a car accident in Pocatello, but he left his license plate behind. A suicide bombing in a Shia area of Baghdad has left 21 people dead and 25 people injured. 
Finally, some good news in the world. The 2014 Nobel Peace Prize is gonna be shared by two teenage girls. That is so awesome. One of the girls is from Pakistan and she was promoting education for girls and the other girl was from India and she was campaigning against exploitation of children. I would love to say their names, however, I cannot pronounce them. For some even more big news, Nigeria has been declared officially free of Ebola after six weeks with no cases. In the work class, our freshmen have been working on a Greece and Rome project. Here is Brandon on that report. Hi, I'm Brandon Christiansen with Compass Academy News, and here we have a group from the War Room concerning their project. I'm Kayla. I'm Brianne. I'm, I'm Megan. I'm Jordan. <laughs> their, their overall project was to compare Rome or Greece to a modern city in the Western world. You guys did a rap battle concerning Rio and Rome. How did you like it? Uh, I thought it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun working with this group of kids. It was an uh, interesting experience. It was really fun to do, but it was a lot of work. It was just interesting and really fun, and yeah. <laughs> How do you guys think your final project turned out? Uh, I think it's going to be really great, and I think it's going to be funny and entertaining for the whole class to watch. I think it's going to be really interesting for the class to watch, as well as, you know, a good project, and it explains it all really well. Okay, honestly, I think it'll turn out good. And I think it will be very impressive to the rest of the class. Just cause. Just cause. <laughs> Just ditto. Ditto. <laughs> With how good of a job you did, do you think you could improve by your senior year? Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. I am almost 100% sure we will improve. By a lot. <laughs> we relied a lot on the older kids to help us make our video as good as it was. So I think I want to be the older kid that someone comes to to ask for help. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Back to you. If you could save a child's life for just 60 cents, would you do it? Well, on Friday, you'll have the chance to do that. Right now, polio is 99% eradicated from the earth. We just need to, fi to finish it off by giving vaccines to children in third world countries. On Friday, October 24th, there will be two booths at Compass called the End Polio Now Project. For every dollar that you donate, Bill Gates will triple it, and you will save five children from polio. Two days from now, the Emotion Bowl will be happening. This is the biggest sport event of the year in Idaho Falls. Kickoff for the Emotion Bowl is at 4 p.m. at Rafson Stadium. Gates will open at 2, and pre-game activities will start at 3.35. Skyline with our activity cards will get in for free. Children and seniors get in for $3, and four for the IF side students with their activity card. And five for any other students, adults, and kids that don't have an activity card. Here's a quick primer to get you pumped. Next week, we're going to have some amazing coverage from the Emotion Bowl. If you want to be rich and famous, well, this isn't going to help you at all. If you want a story aired in the Compass News next week, shoot a 30-second video of you being a news reporter, like us, and send it to Mr. Johnson. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I got this. I can't pronounce any of these names. Girl. So, Malala Yusuf Yusufazi. Bag had dad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kala, Kalish. Kailish. Kalash. Sat. Big, big dad. <laughs> can't pronounce the word. Pakistani. Pakistani. Pakistani, is that right? Why did you make me do this one? That sounded like. Wait, is it wrong? <laughs> That word is so hard. You should just say, like, yeah, take you. Good job. She took the letter out.